Hey everyone, welcome back to Azure Plays More Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Completes, where last time we had to fight the White Knight Leo in order to get the White Dragon Aura, which is somewhere on here. There it is. <laughs> I couldn't find it. The Essence of the White Dragon. Pretty much we need to use this in order to get Null's powers back. But before we enter the White Dragon Cave, I actually should go over some magic that we got when we didn't have some people in our party. Particularly, mainly just Lamina. Because she actually did get a new spell from leveling up. When Hero leveled up, she wasn't in our party, so we actually didn't get this notification. We got Erase Magic. Clears the field of elemental magic. This is a new thing in Lunar 2, but we won't experience it yet until a little bit later. And I'll point it out when it happens, but this will be a useful spell. For now, let's head into the White Dragon Cave. Ha! He got the White Dragon Aura from Leo at last. Hey, Nal, where in the heck are you? I'm where I need to be. Listen, you don't need to regard any of this information because this is a translation error, but not exactly a translation error because this is actually something that's in the Sega CD version of this game. I don't know why I'm still talking about this because this is completely unnecessary and this is not a mechanic in this game at all. Don't worry about it. Just get to the end of the dungeon. I'll be waiting. And I don't like waiting. I, I love that. Yes, there is a mechanic in the original Psycho CD version of this where you need to find four white chests in the corners of the dungeon in order to actually get to the end. You don't need to worry about that at all in this version because the dungeon has been completely redesigned. I don't know why. It's just a holdover and working design. Just completely forgot about it. But yes, we have three new enemies in this battle alone. So the Shiro Mongrel has two different things going on. The Shiro Mongrel right over here. He is weak to fire. Duh, we're in an ice dungeon. But he's resistant to poison paralysis, confusion, and ice. He does have something we can steal from him called the Shiro Caress. We actually do have this already, which increases our range. It's nice to have, and we can steal them again if we want to. But right now, we don't really need to worry about it. If you see its red feathery things going like this, it's going to shoot kind of like a disgusting worm out at you, and possibly more than likely paralyze one of your characters. It can be annoying, but eh, it's not that big of a deal. If it's like paws are down and it's just tail is wagging, it will just slap someone twice of its tail. Not a big deal there. All right, and the next enemy we're actually dealing with is the Yeti. The Yeti, on the other hand, is he's weak to pretty much poison, sleep, fire, paralysis, confusion. He's pretty much weak to most things. But if he's just stomping up and down like this one is over here, he'll just kind of go over to somebody and just hit them. If he's doing this, he's going to throw a snowball at somebody. We kind of experienced enemies like this before. They're mostly sort of holdovers in a sense from the original game. Kind of hard to explain. Otherwise, we have this thing over here, the Mecha Star. I don't know why it's called that, but it is. It's weak to fire. Obviously, you can tell it's uh, resistant to physical attacks as well, but it's also resistant to ice, paralysis, confusion, slave, poison. Pretty much just hit it with fire and call it a day. If we see the star thing orbiting around it like it is now, what it's basically going to do is just going to shoot it out at somebody. It's going to cause a little bit of big damage. If not, it's just standing there or floating there. It'll just hit somebody. I would love to use Battalion Sword, but they're not really in a line per se. So I don't really think I'm going to be able to hit them properly. So I'll just cast everything else. All right, that worked. <laughs> that is totally fine by me. And they're gone. You always hurt the ones you love. That we do. That did nothing. But this would do much more. Mega magic flame. All right, there we go. A mechanic from the original actually does come back, though. See these pillars here? If there's an enemy nearby, they can actually break them. Right now, there's no enemy nearby, so we can't really do anything with that. But if we get on the other side and lure an enemy over here, it's entirely possible to maybe have them break it. But right now, it's it's just not happening. But otherwise, just kind of head forward and uh, just keep going this way. I don't know why that thing did not try to go after me, but I didn't. And we have some more of the same enemies that we had before, so I'm going to hit... Mm, yeah, I'm just going to do that one, hit them in a line. Maybe you'll see if it works. If not, then whatever. I can hit everything on the field, though, so that's nice. And there we go. 
Ow. Ow. And ow, and ow. Not a big deal. What is a big deal, though, is that this kind of ruined this a little bit. Darn, I only got one asleep. And it ruined burn, this as well. Burn, burn. <laughs> Bye? <laughs> one enemy? That was a waste. Ow. You always hurt the ones you love. Well, at least this will end it. Mega Magic Flame! This dungeon itself is actually kind of long, believe it or not. There's a lot of enemies to do if I'm going to avoid you for the moment because I want to get this chest here. So, yeah, got it. All right. There we go. This gives us a starlight. It will definitely come in handy. And Ronfar gains a level. Unfortunately, not anything too special from that level up, but it is what it is. Either way. Get into a battle with another new enemy, the Mutant Fly. Mutant Fly is just resistant to poison, paralysis, sleep, and confusion. Nothing too fancy there. But if it's spinning around like this, it's just going to go and just dive at somebody and maybe poison them. That kind of thing. And if it's just flying normally, it's just going to attack somebody. No big deal. So we're not really dealing with too many fancy enemies going on, but I can at least try to hit a lot of stuff. And you can do that. You can just put everything to sleep, maybe, aside from the fly. It just depends on if it goes first or not. Otherwise, we also have my new staff that I can just hit everything with. Ow. That was gross. <laughs> Gypsy magic! And that ruined those plants. And I didn't even get put to sleep anyway. Well, you're going to get countered by Lucia. Dodge this. That's one dead Shiro. You always hurt the ones you love. Well, maybe this might work. I'll take care of this. I think that might be too spread out, but nah, it's just the one. Ah, it stunk. Oh, at least we get some healing. Thank you, because I always forget the hero run far, and that's actually really good. All right, I could probably just get away with attacking stuff now, so I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to let the AI handle it. Worth it. Why did you run around like that? You could, <laughs> whatever, that's fine. They planned that pretty well. They actually made it so it only did single target. Great use of magic. Here we go. All right. And now I actually should probably heal. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. Everybody is good except for Lucia, so just... You know what? I have like a million herbs. <laughs> well, seven. <laughs> That's not a lot as I expected. But there we go. All right, we can't go that way, so we actually have to go down and around, which is kind of weird. But let's see, can you break this for me? Are you gonna actually, yeah, there we go, it broke us. Now we can actually head th through there if we want, but we gotta head this way first. I'm actually gonna see if we can try to steal. Nothing to steal. When that actually pops up, it doesn't exactly mean there's nothing on it. It just means that you stole nothing. It still might have an item that you can grab, you just have to repeatedly try. So what I could do, if I want to actually try to steal it, is I could actually defend with everybody, just kind of go like this, and then just try it again, to see if it works. I'll take care of this. There we go, see what I mean? It actually did have something on it. And then Lucius is going to destroy them. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's totally fine. And with that one out of the way, we can actually head up in this corner over here because there is something in this corner. Gotta go the long way around for one little thing. The snake ring. The snake ring? 
Let's go over to equipment here. Where are you? Snake, 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 snake. There you go. Increases ability to avoid attacks. This is actually kind of nice if you want to just be like very evasive because agility is pretty much used for that stat. And yeah, <laughs> it honestly, it's a depends kind of scenario for me. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't think I'm ever going to use that thing. Might as well get rid of the one right underneath here while we're at it. There we go. That one's down. What we could have done is actually taken that shortcut if we wanted to, because we did. Huh. <laughs> I like that I actually attempted that, but it didn't really do anything. Because normally we would kind of just have to go up here or there. It's there's like options. There's a lot of options what you could do to get around around here. I can't be expected to do every battle because sometimes it gets a little draining, but uh, yeah, of course, I can get away from it. Oh, oh, okay. Um, this was a this wasn't even the encounter I got <laughs> when I first encountered them. Yes, the Chiro Mongrels, on the other hand, are slightly different than Chiro Mongrels, and by slightly, I mean this is an enemy that if you could kill it now. It would be the best thing to grind off of. You know how much experience I got from, like, some bosses where I got, like, 30,000 or whatever? Yeah, this thing gives you more than that. And there are two of them. The thing is, I'm probably not going to be able to kill them until I'm at least 20 levels higher. It's not going to happen at all. Now, as for why they are here, on the other hand, that's because they hold something very, very useful. So, what we actually want to do with everybody is to defend. Because these things will just bolt. They will take off. And it's kind of annoying that they do that. Because we can't really do anything else. So what we should do is just defend. Look, everybody except Lamina. Lamina is going to actually use the thief staff. Yes, there is something we could actually steal. And it's worth it. It is worth it. I am not kidding. You want this thing. So if you wind up not getting it, put some time into it. You definitely want it. I want it. Please let me get it. I'll take care of this. Come on, 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 come on. Yes! Got it first try! Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, there's a definite reason why I want these things. Lucia, what are you doing? Don't do that. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> I got one of them, and that's okay. Thing is that they ran away, so that gets rid of the mob as well. But the Chiro Crest, on the other hand, increases the user's speed. This is amazing because it gives you 10 extra speed on some characters that might be slow. But this does have benefits if you were to get another one. You want to get another one because if you have two of them, it will make it so whoever has that on is guaranteed to go first. Yeah. I'm not kidding. It is worth it. Worth every single second towards getting it. But, yeah, let me just check out the rest of this area really quick. Yeah, can't grab that. And they can't head in that direction. So, let's get rid of them. Sadly, it wasn't it. That's unfortunate. Oh well, there's still more dungeons to go. So maybe I can find more? So continuing on, this place does get kind of big, and I mean big. So uh, let's see. I think I'm good on all my stuff, so let's just kind of sneak on by. Aha, there we go. And unfortunately, I can't. And Jean gains a level. There we go. And now that I got rid of that, let me grab this. Aha, got it. Menu, men ah. All right, so while that was a little bit unfortunate, let's see here. We have, where to go, the endurance ring. Increases defense. It's okay if you want to put it on somebody that has like less defenses, for example, because we have like Lamina and Ron Far are kind of low on that. And it would be nice to just give them more defenses, but there are better options, honestly. Now, speaking of better options, let's see if we can get another Chiro to show up. Unfortunate, but it is expected. It wasn't a Chiro, it was just the Chiro group again, which 
makes me sad, but ooh, more chances. And now I'm even more sad because when it's not the Chiros, it's just monsters for experience. And it's painful. But I got another shot! I'm sad after that one. <laughs> More chances, please. Oh well. As nice as it would be to get another one, it's not a big loss if I don't get another one, but I definitely want another one. The nice thing is, though, break this, please. Break it. There we go. One more. Thank you. And now with that done, I'm going to run for it. Break it. Break it. Ow. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm gonna move. Ow. There we go. That's one broken. Might as well just get rid of you now. Alright, with you down, I'm gonna make a run for it. Grab this, which is the wing crest. We actually haven't got this yet. But first, run, 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 run. Tiro crest. You do get one, actually. Because, like, normally you would need to steal it, but you get one guarantee no matter what. Past that, you need to steal them. That's pretty much just a hint, hint, that there's a Chiro as well as a Shiro. So, hey, maybe you should try stealing from them. Sort of deal. Now that we actually have two of them, what I can actually do is I could go, like, boop, and then boop. Speed is greatly increased. Wisdom kind of just goes up, too, because I'm getting rid of the other one, but, you know. And the user always attacks first. This is very great, but, um... Not for, um, not for Hero, uh, honestly. <laughs> what it's actually very useful for is Lamina. While I don't really necessarily need these on her, having her go first is amazing because you can actually get some, like, really good nuke spells off on the screen immediately, which is nice. It gets rid of these battles so much faster. So much faster. Past that, since we actually just got the Windcrest, who has the... Uh, let's see, who has the Thunder one? You do. If I equip the Thunder one, as well as the Wind one, I get Thunder Wind Combination Magic. This is actually kind of fancy because it gives us some unique spells going on. We have Wind Cutter, a Brutal Breeze. We get Squall, which is just something that Hero already has, as well as Thunder Tornado, Attack of Wind and Thunder. Yeah, we got some pretty decent, nice spells out of that. that that's that's amazing. And speaking of which, which one did I just remove from Ron for? Uh, yeah. It was one of these. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, yeah, that one right there. Okay, so what I actually think I should do now with that information is I should probably swap this off of her and then give, let's see, the sleep magic one on. Because, yes, I'm doing less damage. The things that can be put to sleep with standard attacks, I could just go whack and put them to sleep, which is nice. So I could just do that. But, um, yeah, I should probably start using some of these. I targeted this for a second, and I'm like, no. <laughs> this one right here. So I can just kind of pop one of those and start just going and using some of these things. I don't like to use these, but it's better than me not using them at the moment. So let's just do that and just make sure everybody's topped off. That was so disgusting. I am so sorry. I do not want to ever do that again. But I can experience some good stuff with the Chiro Crest. So, with the Chiro Crest on, see this big screen of just enemies? Uh, defend. Actually, no, I'm just gonna actually have people still do stuff. But, uh, yeah, I'll just attack you. And then, uh, Burning Rain! Immediate Burning Rain! Yes, please! <laughs> Granted that it didn't do much damage. <laughs> yeah, getting rid of stuff is still pretty nice. Whack, and then run down and whack, and then uh, run far, finish that, please. And there we go. Lucia, do some pretty decent damage to that, please. Yeah, worth it. Another person that you could potentially put that on is Ron Far if you want to get immediate healing, but he kind of goes quick enough that it's not really that big of a deal. Can you break this one too? Okay, I guess not. <laughs> I mean, I, I want you to. Making the speed stat pointless because you always go first is just, it's fun. Hello there. Time to burn.
And Hero gains a level, level 34. Which is all well and good because I kind of want everybody else to get level 34 by the time I'm out of this place, which Ronfar's getting close. Ooh, you need a lot, and uh, you need a lot. You need a lot, lot, but that, that's okay, that's okay. It's fine. It is what it is. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Hello, enemy. I want you over here. Thank you. And there we go. And all those enemies were guarding an angel ring. Yeah, I already have a decent chunk of these, and I'm still not really bothering to use them. Because, yeah, they're not necessary now, and I might not even ever really use them, honestly. As that, we have one more group to deal with. Can you please break those so I can get through here? Please? 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 There we go. It's one. Get that other one, please. I didn't even know there was... Ow. <laughs> ow. Ow. Okay. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> you know what? For that, I'm going to show off some new magic, please. I'm going to use Thunder Tornado on you, and then you attack and uh, you do this. You know what? Get some attacks in. Bye. Bye. And then... You attack. And then... Thunder Tornado. This is good, watch! Yeah, I can definitely say that's decent enough. And Ronvar gains a level. Worth it! And Calm Litany morphs into Tranquil Litany. Yes, his healing magic just got a buff. So, Tranquility costs more now, but it recovers most HP. So I can use it like one time and be pretty much all set. Problem is, is that, yeah, Purity Litany is less now than Tranquil. So kind of a little bit of an oof there, but it's fine. All right, so can I actually fit through there? Really? Oh, wait. Okay, I can't fit through. Can you go up here? Break that. Break it. Break it, just so it makes it easier for me to get into. Come on, keep going, keep trying, keep trying. You got this. You got this. You can do it. I don't know why I can fit through the top one, but I can't th fit through the bottom. Just break it. You got this, just come on. <laughs> there you go. And I'll grab this in the meantime, the ice staff. This definitely might come in handy because I don't really have like any like, yeah, I didn't really pick up any. Yeah, I, I got the water staff, but yeah. It is what it is. It's just weird. So let me actually go into here so I can actually look at it. It's a zone. Cold Blast stops foes dead versus just the water staff, which is just one. So it's a kind of a zone one. We'll get to use it later. For now, let's get rid of you. All right, you're down. And that leaves us to go through here, which then brings us to a room where we could just kind of walk willy nilly. So you know what that means? Let me grab this down here gives us a vitality vial it might come in handy i don't think i've like ever used those i mean they just they yeah <laughs> i no, i just they're just in my inventory i never use them so yeah i definitely need to heal so um let me do a little bit of that action honestly i don't really necessarily need to use tranquil here i could probably just get away with this a couple times oop 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 and please Yes, there we go. Perfect. And then I'll have to begrudgingly use some of these, which it's fine. I'll just make sure that everyone is pretty good to go. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let me, oh, wait. I just realized he was kind of nearly topped off. That's fine. I'll just do it on Ronvar. That was me messing up. That was totally me messing up. It's, it's fine. I am fine with it. Either way, before I head to the right, we have obviously something coming up. So... Next time Azure plays more Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete, we're gonna face what's up ahead. See you all then.